Hey Kentucky, this is Mary Jo Perino. Welcome to our special edition of Hey Kentucky. It is a legislative preview as the guys and gals in Frankfurt get ready to head back to work tomorrow. So to break down what's gonna happen, potentially in this session. I uh, wanna welcome in a panel of experts and I'm so thrilled to be joined uh, here by Rylan Barton from WPFL, from uh, Olivia Krauth uh, from the Courier Journal and Daniel DeRochers from the Lexington Herald Leader. Thank you all for being here so much tonight. I appreciate it. We had a lot to get to. First of all, the budget. Uh, more than a billion dollar shortfall is projected. How does Andy Bashir deal with that? Well, Andy Bashir's big proposal is to uh, legalize casino gambling, mm -hmm. uh, which he says would raise about $500 million a year. Now, the big caveat to that is that Republicans who run, who lead the legislature, who have majorities in the House and Senate, say that that's a non-starter. So uh, they're going to have to work with some something else to raise new revenue. Uh, and you know, one big opportunity is cutting uh, state spending, uh, that cutting the budget as it currently stands right now. Uh, you know, there's other options on the table. There's you know, we could uh, the state could legalize sports betting, which would bring in a little bit, uh, you know, say between thirty to fifty million dollars a year. Uh, and that's uh, got a little more bipartisan support. Has some bipartisan support, uh, but yet there, it's something that's kind of also been waiting in the wings for the last couple of years, and lawmakers haven't been able to rally around it. When they're writing the budget, this is when the numbers are in front of them. This you know, might be the moment in which they really you know, start realizing we need to make more money, especially because as it stands, the state is not going to uh, make, the state revenue is not going to grow enough over the next two years to account for a lot of the big ticket spending items that we know that the state will already you know, have to deal with. So pensions, obviously, something they have to deal with, and educational spending. Where, where will the money come from for education? That's been a big thing for Andy Bashir. Absolutely. He ran on all these pro-public education promises, including $2,000 raises for every teacher, which equals roughly $97 million. Uh, where he's going to get the money, I don't think anyone knows so is it possible um, to even get that much money well, i mean yeah it's always possible i mean you can raise whatever tax you want <laughs> I, I mean so here's the thing right so when, when andy Bashir talked about this on the campaign trail first he he would say you know a, a budget is a is a it's it's a document that shows your values it's a values document and his value that he's really stressed is is education right yeah. like that's the thing that that got him elected that's what what he wants to to represent when he writes this budget. And so I think that you're going to see a lot of education things that are prioritized in the budget, but that might come at the cost of other things, right? Where where people have been spending, where the state has been spending money in the past, we might start to see more cuts in those areas. And that's something that we're gonna see as they unveil their budget proposal and as they kind of look at the numbers and say, okay, well, we might be able to give this $2,000 raise to teachers if we cut this thing. You know, when, when you look at the Republican controlled legislature, there is a real reluctance to raise taxes. Yes. They don't really want to put more pressure on the taxpayer. And they're really the ones that kind of control this. If he, if we want to have more tax growth in the state, it's going to be up to the legislature to actually get that done. Andy Bashir doesn't really have the power to levy taxes on, on Kentuckians. How do we deal with the pension crisis, though, with with the budget <laughs> shortfall, the wanting to spend money on education? Where, where does that fit in with what Bashir is going to propose? Well, he hasn't really come forward with any uh, any of the structural reforms that Governor Bevin had been pr proposing throughout his uh, four years in office. Uh, you know, I think that what he will do, that uh, what Bashir will do, that Bevin did, is put a whole lot of money into the pension system, no matter what. Right now, uh, over the last two years, uh, uh, pension spending, the amount of money the state put into the pension system, accounted for 14% of all state spending. Mm -hmm. That crowds out spending on all this other stuff. Uh, and he's gonna, they're going to continue doing that, and it's going to kind of, you know, it, that comes at the expense of continued uh, low funding for mm -hmm. higher education, uh, that's slower than, than some people wanted growth and spending on public education, uh, and a lot of the cuts. I mean, there, there were across the board 6% cuts to, uh, to state spending for the most part, except for Medicaid. And that's mm -hmm. another thing that's going to increase next year. We, mm -hmm. go, we have a, a much higher Medicaid tab that's going to happen. It's, and they're really in dire straits. So, I mean, we might see some sort, some form of tax reform. You know, this is something that's always kicked around and changing the state's tax code. But once again, we don't know what that looks like. And it's, I mean, Bevin, Governor Bevin had proposed some some elements of what he wanted tax reform to look like, but we're kind of starting over uh, on that on that particular and issue. And we're also looking, they want to fund the school safety bill that they passed last yes. year, right? Like they want, they have a lot of things that they want to fund and it's just going to be this massive, massive challenge without more revenue. You know, and you look at the other thing that Andy Bashir said would help raise revenue in the state, medicinal marijuana. 
the legislators who are running those med medicinal marijuana bills, they don't want to tax it. They see this as a medicine and they say, hey, we should not be taxing this thing because we don't tax other medicines. So, you know, Andy Bashir is just kind of, in, you know, he, he's buried his head in the sand <laughs> and said, you know, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be able to deliver on all of these things, even though that's not the reality with the legislative body that we have in place. Uh, casino gaming was said to be dead on arrival mm -hmm. uh, by Robert Stivers, Damon Thayer, and others. Is it? Yes. <laughs> I, I, I mean, yeah, I, I mean, like these guys are, have said casino gaming's dead on arrival. I mean, the place where you have room is sports betting. Uh, and, and, you know, there's money there. There's, there's 30 wiggle to 50, room, yeah. 30 to $50 million there. I, I think the hard part about sports betting is you're going to have to figure out a way to make that work with the existing horse racing uh, places that exist in Kentucky, right? Churchill Downs, Keeneland, like those places kind of have a monopoly on gambling in Kentucky. And I don't think they're going to just give that up to allowing people to bet on their phones. I think that there's going to have to be some sort of compromise with the tracks in order to be able to get sports betting done. And another uh, uh, kind of low-hanging fruit, just looking back at what the legislature has done in terms of raising taxes in recent years. Back in 2018, it would have been, uh, they raised the cigarette tax. Mm -hmm. uh, they raised, they expanded the sales tax to 12 different services, ranging from pet grooming to dry uh, cleaning. To dry cleaning uh, and so there could be other little kind of ticky tacky picking off things to try and raise new revenue. And frankly, the cigarette tax is what, you know, mm -hmm. most of that, the, the, they're able to raise at least 100 million new, new dollars that didn't exist before that could go a long way. So we'll just kind of I mean, we haven't seen any concrete proposals so far of what they're looking for yet. To Perhaps raise. a tax yeah. on e-cigarettes. Crit Llewellyn, yeah. who was doing the uh, the budget during the transition period, right? She was the one going, heading up the budget transition. She was just like, he's got a re he's got a lot of really difficult choices yeah. in front of him, uh, and and that's really what it's going to come down to. It's going to come down to really difficult choices, and we already know where his priorities lie. It's just a matter of seeing well how well do those priorities get funded. Speaking of Governor Bashir, we are going to sit down with him uh, coming up next and find out exactly where, where his priorities are, if he's got to make those tough choices, when he has to make those tough choices. So stay with us on Hey Kentucky's special edition of our legislative preview. Stay with us. More right after the break. <laughs>